people, I know my West African people in this world. Why was there not more outrage about this? <laughs> okay, so this woman is mixing the tomato, the onion, and then the pepper and making sauce. Now, some people make their sauce like this, but from what I know, and by the way, bay leaf, I've never really seen that in a jollof anything. But maybe that's the risotto part of it. I don't know. And then the oil coming in after the sauce, usually you'd put the oil in, make it heat it up, and then add your onions to caramelize them, and then add your tomato that you can blend up and everything. And all these spices and everything but yeah, the maggi cube is on point because you don't make any west african food without your maggi cube you always need your maggi cube in there so yeah i don't know what a yellow onion is but okay so they're doing this all separate and caramelizing this separately oh wait oh yeah that's got the rice in there oh my goodness it's just so weird to see this type of rice this risotto rice to make jollof just don't call it jollof then just call it risotto like why in fact i think the italians will be quite upset about this as well <laughs> but i like this i like this with the shrimp and everything those shrimps look mm, they look juicy and mm, that that might be something i need to add to my jollof rice shrimp because some people do nothing at all i like mine with meat i've occasionally seen it with chicken i've seen it with sardine but the shrimp thing is a new thing. So yeah, my favorite is with, with beef though. The presentation is amazing. Oh well, I'm gonna try this one day for you guys, you know. I will try it and film it and let y'all know what this really tastes like. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the thumbs up or something, that subscribe button and hit the notification bell while you're at it. Hit the like too, share it with everybody, you know. Bye.